Hey there nation, welcome to the show where we help you to play miniatures wargaming on a budget. It is I, Commander Cheapskate, and we are back with another episode of Hobbyside. And on this episode, we are taking a look at the progress I'm making so far on our studio's orc, um, well basically Ash Nomad Gang, for upcoming Anarchy Road campaign series that we're doing for Nicaragua. As you guys are aware, we are doing a vehicle-based uh, Nicaragua campaign. And all the vehicle rules that we actually came up for that campaign are actually homemade. We made our own set of rules. And just like always, I'll put down the link down below to where you guys can download those rules yourself to play games of uh, Nicaragua out in the Ash Wastes. So as you guys are aware, Anarchy Road will be taking place in the Ash Wastes, and these gangs will be fighting it out on vehicles. And so this gang is an orc gang, well, orc and grots, or just orc gang. What we're going to do is we're going to have these guys proxy in for Ash Waste Nomads. The reason why is because the Ash Waste Nomads can look like anything you want. That's how the rules are written. And, uh, you know, get some great variety out of these guys. And plus, since, you know, this game is kind of like a Mad Max-inspired campaign setting, where these vicious gangs fight it out in the wastes of the Ash Wastes, using vehicles and, you know, trying to survive as best they can, I figured... Orcs would make a really good addition to that, since a lot of orc vehicles look very Mad Max inspired. And so that's exactly what's going on here. So as you can see here, this is going to be our Ash Face Nomad Gang using orcs in order to do that. So the gang is actually pretty small, and like that's intentional. Like I said before, uh, the game mechanics is all about having small units of gangs and vehicles, and you, it's more about quality of troops and quality of vehicles over quantity. But this gang here, though, has got several vehicles on it. Basically, consists of three motorcycle riders, those two there, and that one there, as well as a buggy or a medium uh, vehicle class as well. So you guys can probably recognize these miniatures from 40k. These are basically a box set of uh, of um, war bikes from uh, the Orcs and Goblins line, and this is a Def Killer War Trek, I think is what it's called, Def Killer War Trek, a trike is what it's called, it's one of the newer kits that came out for Orcs and Goblins, and it's very, very max, heavy, mad, mad max looking, it just looks absolutely fantastic. So we did some conversion work on these guys to uh, make it work for the most part. So this ended up happening. So you can see we have our three motorcycle riders, but the problem though is that whenever you mount a motorcycle rider, um, it's really hard to, you know, have the miniature actually dismount and actually fight. And that's where these uh, kit bashes came from. So you can see here, we've actually made miniature versions, well, unmounted versions, of the riders. So you can see there's a rider there, he's got his huge axe, as well as his pistol, huge axe as well as pistol. So that way when we go onto the ground, you can just take this guy off. So for example, let's say this guy needed to dismount for whatever reason, he can go off the motorcycle like that. So the motorcycle's left unattended and then he can run up and actually, you know, do things. And so we did that so that way the riders uh, could actually make that happen. So I did the same thing with these guys back here, the same thing with uh, this pair of guys over here as well. And of course, we got the little grots in the back. As you can see there, the little grots are kind of riding on the back of the motorcycles. Uh, my buddy decided that he wanted to put um, pole cat pole, uh, boarding pole bolts. We talked about that in our rule sets where it's kind of like Mad Max and the uh, Fury River, they had the pole cats who kind of rode down on these huge pipes on the land of vehicles well he decides that his uh, little uh, newbies or his punks which are basically like the ash waste nomad version of uh, juvies those guys go right in the back and they'll use the pole cap pole bolts in order to board enemy vehicles so that way his uh, rider can go and do missions while the punk guards the bike or if you need to chase down opponents the punk can dismount the bike by boarding uh, enemy vehicles using the boarding bikes so that looks really cool as well and then, of course, he has his warband leader. His warband leader, <coughs> excuse me, rides a medium-sized vehicle. And this is what the Def Killer War Track is going to be on. So this is the lad he has got for that. And he decided to use the red gobo, uh, the red uh, grot, from the uh, Games Workshop's uh, line of uh, Christmas-themed miniature from uh, 2019. He decided to use that guy as the leader of his gang, which is kind of cool. The guy's name is Zog Warp, the World Killer. That's what my friend decided to choose for his gang leader's name. And he did, uh, we did a little bit of conversion work on this guy. We actually placed his hand. Originally, this miniature was holding a Christmas tree in his hand, like a small little Christmas tree. So we replaced that. We put a chain sword from Imperial Guardsman instead. That way he looks really, really cool. Same kind of scale and everything. So that guy is a gang leader. And of course, the Death Killer War Trike. Um, for the conversion work of this one, we have the rider here, he's got his boomstick. We actually have an orc that's already painted up already. That would be from our kill team uh, kit that we had when we used to do our kill team battle reports. That guy would be playing uh, this rider, so when I get that guy out, we'll use him for dismounting as well. 
And of course, the guy with the snag claw, I think is what he's armed with. Uh, we did some conversion work on this guy as well. Uh, we added a little backpack mount for him from an orc knob uh, box set. And the reason why we did that is so that way we can make an orc knob, this guy here. You know, it's not 100% in terms of the conversion work, but it's close enough, right? You got the backpack guns, you got the hook with the harpoon, you got the claws of the harpoon here too. This guy's carrying an additional boomstick that actually came off of this vehicle as well. Because he's that and there's a spare boomstick on his back to present the fact that he's got more of those needed if he needs to. So that'll be the dismounted version of that rider. And the same thing with this guy as well. The riders, for the most part, actually are kit bash as well. Uh, it's actually the torsos and heads and arms of a war bike rider with an orc boy slug, I think is what it's called, which is the heavy pistols, and an orc boy legs. So that way they match up with their counterparts as well. The chain guy there as well. I forgot to mention too, we also have some unmounted uh, rots as well. To represent these guys are the little pole vaulters, the little punks that will make up in this gang. Uh, we actually are going to use the kill team. Uh, brought. So guys like this, for example, we'll use guys like that to do a little kill team drop to uh, represent the fact that that's who's uh, recording on the enemy vehicles as well. So my buddy brother Groom wanted to go with these uh, with the gang, the uh, this gang here for his uh, group, and this gang is going to be called Wapocalypse Now. That's what the name of the gang is, which is like the same name he uses for his orc and goblin army, but appropriate, you know, looking like this very Mad Maxy type of vibe as well. And that's one thing I do appreciate, like, if I was to ever play 40k, um, if I was to ever get to that game system, I think I would be an orc player. Just because their vehicles and their miniatures look just so dang cool. And I'd, I'd probably play what's called, I think my buddy called it a speed mob, I think is what he called it. That's basically what the, basically, basically the entire army is mounted, and it's like light cavalry, and they just go forward and attack. I think I'd do that just because you can convert so many cool looking vehicles out of bits and bobs and they have for everything. So it just looks really awesome as well. So this is the kit bash that I came out with. This is what we do for our conversion work so far. Very happy with the end result of the conversion work. Of course, I gotta go through and, um, what you call it, and to uh, start priming these and painting these up get for real quick for an arcade real campaign, but uh, our gang is slowly together. So this is the second gang that we have that will be participating in our campaign Anarchy Road. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do for this one. Just a little update video about our Anarchy Road gang and how we're working on it. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. Your guys' input is valuable to us as always. I'll check us out on Facebook, Instagram, as well as blogger.com for all the latest greatest hobby news related to our channel. That's good for this week, guys. We'll catch you guys next one. Peace out and stay classy.